My name is Darren McGinnis, founder of God and People. A little bit about why I started God and People and what it is. One, it's a clothing brand that just represents Jesus's, you know, call for Christians, which is love God and love people. It's the two basic, most relevant commandments that Jesus spoke to us as Christians. And essentially it comes from the origin of when God created man. And that was to have relationship with God, walk in the garden together, intimate relationship, really knowing who God was and, and fostering that. And then two, just thriving, enjoying life and, you know, having a responsibility of like really helping everything around them to thrive. Um, so I felt that, you know, in the way things are going in the world today, we've we've almost missed that original message, that original point, you know, the principle of first mention, which was that we really just would enjoy our lives and have a great connection with God. And when the enemy came and kind of destroyed that, Jesus came and rep repaired the opportunity for us to really come to him and repent of any sin or, you know, uh, allow us to really connect in that holistic way again and, and really take the authority back in our hands of the ability to really speak life into our environment, into our communities, our workplace, our families. Uh, so I just wanted to give people a tangible way to express that, to partner with that mission and that vision that, you know, I believe God had as the original state. So when it comes to God and people, you know, I, I'm just really looking forward to the brand growing and expressing and reaching more and more people to really contribute to God's kingdom. You know, the tagline is bringing the kingdom of heaven to earth. I believe that's the call of every Christian, along with loving God and loving people, is building into God's kingdom. And, you know, it kind of is zero sum game. If you're not building into God's kingdom, you're building into a different kingdom. So I really want to like share that message, allow people to participate. There's a lot of opportunity for people to connect with who God is on a much more spiritual level and operating in that power. I know I grew up in a church that was great, um, had elements of God's power working in it, but always felt a little bit distant or detached from understanding what actually went into that connection or how to make it happen. Prayers were a little bit like throwing spaghetti against the wall and seeing what sticks. and. You know, I was just hoping that I wasn't going to get struck by lightning most of the time and, you know, do the right thing and hopefully things will work out. Moving from there, as I went through my own personal journey and really being inspired to go deeper with God, I realized that we actually have access to the Holy Spirit, connecting with God in a very spiritual way that allows for the power. And right now, I think the church has been handicapped in that regard because they're not moving in, in the power of God. Whether it be, it's too confrontational for non-believers, so they they kind of tone it down so that more people can hear. Um, I don't think Jesus ever really worked that way. Jesus moved in power, that's how he changed things. That's how the apostles changed things. That's how folks are still changing things today. You know, and I think that's what really dramatically changed my own life is realizing we had access to move in the power of God, but it takes connecting with God on a spiritual level. We are spiritual beings. And until we grasp that, until we start operating that, I think we remain powerless as a church, as a community, as a people. I guess a short testimony of something that God did and you know how he used me in kind of drawing upon the power of God was, I actually was just visiting friends in Southern California in LA. And I remember I had this friend where it was a group of us and after we all hung out, just felt prompted to pray for her. And I was just said, you know, and she's a Christian. And so she was just like, yeah, totally. And so just praying and really felt in my spirit that there was a heavy spirit of depression over her. And I think anything that conflicts with the kingdom of God is like from the enemy. Um, and, and just realizing, hey, you know, this is something that I'm gonna name and I'm gonna say no more. And just prayed, you know, and said, you know, just totally cancel that. Just, I cast it out in the name of Jesus, which is just taking the power of Jesus that he gave us to take authority over the enemy. You know, the gates of hell will not prevail, you know, against the kingdom. So I'm literally busting through that gate and saying no more in the name of Jesus. And she had not alluded to the fact that she was dealing with depression or anything. That was just something that, you know, I, I felt like I could sense. 
Next day, she lets me know, she calls me and tells me she was, had been battling with severe depression, had been in counseling the last four months, and that was the first day she had just totally broken off of that. And so, I mean, that's one of many testimonies, and that isn't something that's like exclusive to, you know, Bible students. This is something that God's given us authority to do. For people who are feeling like, you know, maybe they're not seeing the power of God in their life. They may even identify areas where the enemy is working so clearly. Like this is a work of the enemy in my life and feeling powerless. What I'd say is one, it's are we spending time with God? You know, are we hearing the right things? Are we putting ourselves in the right community? Because obviously those are just quick fixes where if you're hanging out with the wrong folks, you're not engaging in the word, you're gonna be filled with things that are not gonna be an encouragement. Second is accept the baptism of the Holy Spirit because that is a critical part of moving in the power. Allow yourself to operate in that and, and just receive it. Lord, I received the presence of the Holy Spirit. I invited in in its full capacity and, and, and just let the prayer of your heart be to connect more with God and He will show you things. And then surround yourself with some resources that can help disciple you in that way. I'd love to just activate. I think there's some folks who are just watching this right now saying like, I want it. Cause I remember I was in that place where I was like, these people are talking to God. These people are moving in the power. Like, how do I do that? And I just want to pray an activation to just light a fire to, you know, get it going. And so Lord, just right now, I just pray for those believers, those people who may not even be believers yet, who are just have something inspired in their heart watching this. And I just speak an activation in the name of Jesus, activation in their spirit for them to receive just a baptism in the Holy Spirit, just holy, you know, upwelling of the Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus. And that they would just take it in their communities and their families and their workplace. And they would just ignite a fire for the kingdom of God in your name, Father. Amen. And I just speak that they would be in connection with the right leaders, discipleship in your name. Amen. Um, if you want to stay in connection, GodandPeople.com, we're putting out, you know, some more gear that you guys can wear and, and something tangible to grasp on to, you know, God's call on your life. Also going to be blogging and doing some other things. So, you know, feel free to participate, but love you guys. Wish the best and uh, thanks for having me today.